video, we will look at trigonometry and exam style question. You will find this on page 214 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at this example. It's quite challenging, but it's combining a lot of things in the chapter. Excellent question, especially for examination. The function, okay, this is mapping notation, so a plus b cos x is defined and it's between 0 and 2 pi. So we just work in radians. As soon as you see that, your brain just go to radians. Now, given that when, when x is f 0, so x is 0, it's equal to 10. And when f is 2 thirds pi, it's equal to 1. Find the values of a and b. Okay, stop there. In this question, the maximum and the minimum points are not given. Always sketch a graph. Okay, but always, if you see it's cos, just go with your basic cos until 2 pi, until actually 360. Okay, now, from this sketch, you will see a few things. Now, if I'm looking at this question, I will say, we have, this is my basic one. Now, if fx is equal, and I substitute a zero there, I get 10. But, but just look, when, when cos is zero, do you see? When, when cos is zero, what, what is it? It's a one there. Do you see? So that's why it's a plus b is equal to 10. Okay. So the amplitude is b, not a. Okay. It's just if, if I'm doing it with the maximum and the minimum. Now, this is quite challenging. Because I'm bringing a lot, and if you look at the general angles, that videos are from 19 to 24. I'm going to use that principle here. So basically, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that's two-thirds. So the, the acute angle, the angle to the x-axis is going to be a third. So directly, I'm going for my special triangles. Because remembering your special triangles, this is 60, but 60 is pi over 3, and this is 30, and that's pi over 6. But I'm, I'm, I'm sitting with this. Now, can I, I want to show you here. It's almost like, if you look at that general, it's if, say, I was having cos 2 thirds pi. But just think of that. How would I write it in terms of the cos diagram? Because there is 2 thirds. I would write it in terms of to say, okay, but pi minus two thirds is a third pi. So actually, but what is cos in this quadrant? Okay, just uh, this is now in the second quadrant. Oh, so if I look at the cost, I see cost is what negative. So I would have write it like this. If you look at videos from 19 to 24, I would have write. It's going to be cos, and it's going to be pi minus that third. I would write it in terms of the basic angle. And then I would have said, oh, but what is cos in that quadrant? It's negative. It's, so it's negative cos the third pi. Okay, now I can go to my basic one and say, okay, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that is equal, is going to be negative a half because it's in that second quadrant. Okay, so basically, I'm, I'm just showing you, there I showed it to you, so you get, so it's negative half. That is exactly what I showed you there. So basically, if I'm going to say, okay, A plus B cos two thirds pi, in the place of that two thirds, I'm going to put that negative a half. So it's actually going to be A, plus b, and there's the negative a half, and that's equal to 1. And that's a minus b, a minus a half b is equal to 1. So there's my second one. There's my first one, I could have get it from the graph. So if you see that they are bringing this kind of thing, okay, 0, or they bring f pi, or they bring um, f um, pi over 2, that's 90, or they bring f, oh, okay, they can even say 3 over 2 pi. As soon as you see they bring that, 
then it's on, then it will be either there or there or there or there. Then we can, it's difficult to use the cars, it's actually impossible. So then we will always go for the graph to find that values there and that. So for this one, I actually would have used the graph and for this one, I could have used the cost diagram bringing also the special triangles in. And now it's actually easy from there because you're sitting with two equations and you're basically just going to solve them simultaneously. And then I get A and I substitute and I get B and that's the answer. And now, as soon as I put this, <clears throat> now, this is my real sketch. This was just to help you. So it's going, so the maximum point, and let's just go to find, the maximum point is 10, and the minimum point is negative 2. Okay? Did you see? Because, okay, no, no, no. Let's just, let's just rephrase this. So if, if I'm writing this, um, there's the maximum value, and I think it's again on page 160. So for the maximum value, you say A, plus B, okay, can you remember, and uh, I can take you to page 160, let's see if I can do that quickly, uh, I remember, and I'm just going to use this, I think it was year around, let's see, 160, uh, 61, there, okay, so I'm, I'm here, so for the maximum, it's A plus C, do you remember A plus C, that value, the one there at the end? And for the minimum value, it depends what they call it. If it otherwise it's A, but it's the value not in front of C. The minimum value, it is negative A plus C. So that's what, where I was taking you now. I'm going to take you back to my question. I hope it's here. And I'm just going to take it. So that's where I'm coming with that. So for the maximum, for the maximum, remember that is going to be the C now, okay, the one without, not the one standing there. So for the maximum, it's A plus C, or whatever, that value in front of cos, and the one on its own. And for the minimum value, it's negative, okay, so negative A, the one, one in front of cos, plus that one, and that's negative 2, and that's how I... I could have seen the graph there. Do you see the real graph? Okay. So, and if I see the real graph, I'm, I'm able to find the range. So what is the range now? It's bigger than equal. Y is bigger than equal to negative 2 and smaller than equal to 10. And then find the exact value of F5 over 6 pi. Now, again, you put it in there. Now, now can I again show you? Where is 5 over 6 pi? And, and I'm going to write just a few extra things because it's very important for me that you understand this, these things. Okay, so there is my cost. Now, where is 5 over 6? Again, it's, it's, just, it's just another special angle I use, but it's in this quadrant. And if you think of your cost, cost is still going to be what? Negative. But now, I just go from this angle, just make it blue, from this angle. So cos is square root 3 over 2. Are you with me? So it's going to be square root over 3. But because it's in this quadrant, can you see? And in this quadrant, cos is negative, And that's why it's negative square root 3 over 2. Okay. Then I showed it to you, if you write it also like this. So again, you can just go to this. So you can, could have actually first said cos um, pi minus 5 over 6 pi. And now, because it's in quadrant 2, then it's negative. Ah, oh, not minus 5 over 6. Sorry, 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 sorry. I want to just correct. You, you get that 1 over 6, 1 over 6 pi. You get that 1 over 6 by saying pi minus 5 over 6 pi. And, that, and that's going to be the negative cos 1 over 6 pi. And that's the answer. And then I just substitute it in there. I work it out and... Remember, this, I cannot simplify, this is going to be my final. This is, this is actually more difficult. This is the most difficult I saw in 20 years of, of Cambridge um, papers. So I think the one that I'm going to give you now, it's not so difficult, difficult than this one. This one was so, also tried to do it more than one time that you really understand this question. It can come again. 
I, I decided not to give you one because then I'm working with costs again and I worked with the cost growth now. So I, I decided in this video I'd rather do number two because at least then I can work with the sign growth and not the cost growth. So this one is not so difficult. You can first try one and look at the back of the book for the answer and then try two. So in this video, I'm just going to do number two. All right, let's start. Okay. So this is number two, and I think I just don't want to see all these extra things here. So let's just not do now with this question. Okay, <clears throat> so let's just start with number two. The function f defined, okay, it's again, they like mapping notation, map into. So, but I prefer, as soon as I rewrite it, I write it normal. Or normal in terms of the equal sign, the more. So for x an element of r is such that, okay, now they can find the values of the constants a and b. So it's actually a very shorter question. Okay, but let's start. And, and I'm first going to start with what they gave you. They gave you, now the nice thing, because it's 1 over 6 pi, it's, it's almost like it's in the first quadrant and all is positive there. So it's going to be in the place of x, And then they tell you the answer will be equal to 4. Okay, so again I'm going to work with my special triangles. And I like always, because I want you to become so familiar with that. This is the way we, we go in further mathematics. So we work with this, especially in calculus first year. You don't work with a calculator, so you, you need the special triangles. Okay. So basically, this was 2, this was 1, this is square root 3. Remember, this is 60, but it's now pi over 3. And that's 30, and that's pi over 6. So if I say, and, and it's 1, 6, so it's in the first. So in the cost, it's here. So it's, it's going to be positive, so you don't have to worry. So sin is opposite of adjacent. So in the place of this, I can put a half. So let's just rewrite it. It's a plus b. I put that half in, and it's equal to 4. And, and I can make this my equation 1. Okay. So I can now co continue with this one. Now, the next one. It's f. Now I'm showing you again. If they say f, and now it's a half pi. Now, it's as I said to you. So now it's a plus b sin, and now it's a half pi. And, oh, sorry, sorry. And that is equal to 3. Now, if you think of the cost diagram, and I want to show you. So, where is... The lines is not straight. So, so remember, this is pi over 2. This is over 2 there. This is pi. This is one and a half pi. So as soon as you say, oh, it's there, it's going to be, it's on, on one of the lines, so it's not in the space, so I cannot use the cost. Let's go then to my graph, and then I will just go, okay, it's not a problem. I know the graph, it's of sin. So I'm just going to go there. How is my graph of sin looking? My graph of sin it's just looking like this. My graph of sin. Okay, there is 2 pi. There, there is pi. There, there is a half pi. And it's in quadrant 1, so it's fine. So I first work because it's going from 1 and it's going to negative 1. Okay, but this one, so in the place of this, I can put that one. So I'm going to say A plus B, and I put the one is equal to 3. This is going to be equation 2, which I then can solve. If, when you work with the maximum and the minimum, it's when you're going to sketch this. Then when you have A and B, then A and B, you can say for the maximum point, it's A plus B, 
and for the minimum point, it's going to be negative B plus A, if you must make this real sketch after I found. But for now, it's, it was not necessary. And they didn't ask range. If they asked range, yes, I would have done that. Okay, but now, let's just finish off. So I'm just going to make it 0 0.5 B. Okay, now let's just multiply this one with a negative. So it's negative A minus B is equal to negative 3. And this is going to be 1, and this is going to be 2. And then this, this is going to cancel out, and this is going to be negative, uh, negative 0 0.5 B, and this is just going to be 1, okay? And then, if I'm going to simplify this, let's move on, if I divide this with negative 0 0.5, and this with negative 0 0.5, I get that my value of B, oh, sorry, my pen, my pen, my pen, my value of B is negative 2. And now I substitute. In equation, take the easiest one. I think 2 is the easiest one. Okay, so it's going to be A plus B. B, oh, it's not necessary, you could have even seen this. Okay, so it's A minus 2 equals 3. So the value of A is equal to 3 plus 2. So therefore, A is equal to 5. And that's all they want in this question. They just want the value of A and the value of B. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay, remember, this is not in the question. I just decided that I want to show you the sketch. So if your function is fx equals, and now it's 5, and now it's minus 2, and it's sin x. Okay, I went to that symbol lab, which I already explained to you like, uh, previously. And I was just pressing graph and I was pressing and the sketch will look like this. Now, how did I come to? So if you look here, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger. It's not, but if they ask you for the range, they can. Uh, you have the knowledge to do that. So if you see there, 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 it's 7. And this value here, it looks like 3. But let's see how we come to it. Now, because of that negative, the graph is turned upside down. It's not first going up, it's first going down. Okay, so it can be sometimes, if I say I know that, again, if I go to page, um, and I'm going to show you again, to page 160, just go, no, I just see if I can find that Okay. If I was going to this page, and I showed you, if you want to find for the sin, the maximum is A plus C, and the, make it a bit bigger, and the minimum, page 160, is negative A. But then, that A, that A, refers to the value in front of sin. And then that C refers to the value standing on its own. Okay, so it's actually that negative, if I come to the negative A, the negative A, then just remember it's the value in front. So now with the A and B, don't let the A and B confuse you now. Okay, so let's go back to this, que this question. So if we move it up, I want to show you this. So just remember that that is A and that's C. The value usually stands at the back, but it stands there. But because it's turned, it can be that it gives you... Okay, so usually the maximum, you will just say A, let's just call it now A, okay, this is now actually A, okay, doesn't matter. It's actually the amplitude, it's this one, so if it's negative 2 plus 5, that's where I agree. But you will see now, it's not going to be the maximum, it's going to be the minimum, okay, but usually, if I want to find the minimum, it will be negative this one, plus this one. 
And now it will be 5 plus 2, so it's 7. But now, due to the, this negative, this 2 is basically just swapped. But I just want you to come to the point to say, oh, this maximum here, this maximum here, oh, sorry, it's not one to write now. I don't know why. No, still not. Like a ruler. This maximum here is 7. And then this one here, this one here is going to be free. So the reason why I showed you this, because it can be in the question. So they can ask you the range. And if they ask you the range, then it's y is bigger than equal. Just put the smallest one on this side and just put the biggest one on that side. It, because of that, that the graph is swapped. Because it's a reflection in the x-axis now. It was not in this question. I just showed it to you because I want you, if it's in a question and they ask you the range, then you must work it out and that's the way you will do it.